All right. Now, if you guys were watching the uh, the short that I put out recently, you would have kind of already known that the design, the hardware design, is finally finished with everything uh, in order. Everything's working, and uh, yeah, that's what uh, the big announcement, I suppose. But I guess the bigger announcement would be that it's I'm gonna initiate a design freeze when which I would not be changing any of that uh, CAD model. Um, and if you uh, and if you click on the GitHub link down below in the STL folder, you will see the STL for every component that had been made for this project. Um, and that folder will not change in term as as in I will not be removing any of those uh, items from the list or make any change to them at whatsoever. If there is any change for the folder, it will be adding more component to it if ever needed. And the reason for the design free is that I need to move on to the next phase of the project and address other bottleneck uh, that, that is the software and documentations. The software is something I'm not particularly uh, uh, good at. I can look, I can look at the software and I can t point at and as a specific uh, thing and say, hey, that, that is causing a bug for my specific uh, setup, for example. Or I can go in then uh, and submit a uh, feature request on GitHub, and that's pretty much what all I can do. On the documentation side, though, it is what I'm is what I'm going to be focusing on for the next couple months, uh, while I am accumulating the fund to actually to buy more component and to add the, the third and four, add the, the third and fourth two head onto this um, machine. And the reason why it is important is that. Right now, I am the sole designer and contributor to this project, and that is increasingly, uh, increasingly become a, a rather huge bottleneck. Even though I have done everything I can to make sure that the uh, Stealth Burner Two Head does not require any modification whatsoever, um, there are other things that other people might want to put on the their boron, and it just not gonna and just not gonna fit with. The uh, setup as it is. For example, if anyone put on a modify uh, idler, I, I hope I think what that's what they call front idler for the gantry, it's not gonna fit for what it uh, for for the current version of this uh, docking mechanism. And so what I'm trying to say is the ne the big next step for this of uh, this project is not to add more feature or uh, for that matter a more two head on this specific printer, but rather to add more people to the project, whether it is software engineer, whether it is other designers, or just plain old alpha tester. I need people to start getting onto this, to, to uh, start modding, uh, to start adding feature for their own setup, that rather than being uh, this whole project being restricted to the exact set of, uh, uh, of things that I'm uh, working with. That is to say, the Revo hot end and the Stealth Burner 2 head, for example. That's the thing that I cannot change uh, for my specific printer any longer. So, yeah. And to do that, I to get out of the ability to actually build this, documentation is what need to be done next. And documentation is what I'm going to be doing. Um, the, the way that I am envis envisioning all of that uh, layout is, first and foremost, I need to start making video more videos. in on the assembly of the system. So I'm currently uh, in the midst of making the video on how the dock came together. Uh, and, and, and I'm going to uh, publish in that as soon as I can. Then following that, I go, and then of course I'm going to go around and uh, point out things like how the two head come together, how the uh, uh, X, XLR uh, panel at the back there come together and how the software come together and uh yeah that's how i'm planning to do things and uh, if you want to support the project help buy me a coffee or help me buy more filament to actually make stuff uh there's i had also i have uh, now started to include patreon profile and buy me a coffee links down down in the description obviously don't spend more than what you cannot afford and only pay for what you already have and in this case, hey, all the cat is actually are available in the GitHub uh, description down below as well. Uh, 
And if you are a designer of any other uh, tool changing mechanism, feel free to just grab whatever in this system that is uh, that you would like to adapt to your own and take it from there. Uh, you don't need to ask permission. It's an open source project. I would, in fact, if anything, I would love to see to see a stealth changer, for example, being put on on this stock. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll talk to you, uh, you later. And oh, little bit of a uh, test sprint. I think this guy gonna be the um, the mascot of uh, of this project from now on. Look how cute that is. All right, see ya.